Today I'll teach you how to use insert stored procedure using Dapper in ASP.NET. So we'll start by adding some fields in our ASPX page. So the very first field I'm adding is a text box for capturing the name value. The another field which I'm adding is a drop down list which will allow user to select the country of his choice. Finally, I'm adding a button which when clicked will insert the data into database. Now in the code behind, we'll start by adding the namespaces. Now inside the on insert event handler, here we'll specify the name of the stored procedure, customers underscore insert customer. The next thing I am doing is declaring a variable for capturing the connection string from the web.config file. Next thing I am creating a object of SQL correction class. Then I am declaring my variables, which I'll pass as parameters to the execute scalar function of the Dapper class, which accepts stored procedure and the parameters. Now the execute scalar function will return the customer ID. Hence I am wrapping it into convert.int32 function since it returns value in object data type. Finally, using the register startup script function of the client script class, I am displaying the customer ID of the record inserted using JavaScript alert message box. Now again, I am moving to the ASPX page. I'll be now assigning the on-click event handler to the button. So our project is now ready and we can run it and see it in action. As you can see, the name and country fields are visible. I'm inputting my name in the text box and I'm selecting the country. Now I'm clicking on insert. You can see the customer ID has been displayed. With this, we come to an end. That's it.